Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm at Six Flags Park with my friends, and instead of recording the audio at the noisy park, I decided to record the audio afterwards. So let's go. And just so you know who I'm with, we have Joey Graceffa here, the kung fu master, it would seem. We also have Ingrid, who's thrown down some toasties for us. Uh, she also won a panda. You'll get to see that a little bit later in the video. A uh, Tanya. Tanya's in town, which is really fun. She likes dancing a lot, it seems. Jim, uh, her boyfriend, loves jumping over stuff, and he's very tall, and he's awesome. Oh, look who we have here. It's Fleur de Forest, just hiding behind a bush uh, when I found her. And this is Mike de Forest, which is Fleur's boyfriend. I'm really happy that he came on this trip with Fleur and uh, got to hang out with him. So before we went on any of the rides, Tanya wanted to give Ingrid a gift because Jim and Tanya are staying at Ingrid's house uh, for VidCon and IMATS while they're, they're here visiting from the UK. And Tanya is just a really nice person in general, and I, I really like her, and I appreciate that she gave that to Ingrid. And now they have matching friendship bracelets and um, seem to make Ingrid really happy, so that made me happy. The first ride that we decided to go on was called Tatsui, and it's kind of one where you lay down, they make you lay down, and it, it feels like you're flying, and I'm going to be riding with Jim and Joey. This guy was hilarious, by the way, the announcer for the ride uh, just started shout, shouting the most random things. So yeah, they tilt you up so you're like laying down. Oh, and here is a girl that actually recognized me and said that she watched my, my videos. I believe her name was Grace. And she was, she was really awesome. She actually also rec recognized Fleur here and started flipping out. It's kind of funny. And as you can see, Fleur and Mike had to stay behind because there were only four spots and there were five of us. But here we go. And this ride is nuts. You can see how high up we are. And they make you look straight down. And we were all, we were all kind of scared. And um, I'm just going to take you on this ride with me. Sometimes on rides like this, the G-force will be so strong that it feels like the blood is, is rushing out of my head, not to be gross, but I've actually seen stars on rides like this before and um, started to like black out, like my eyes started to become dark. It, se it seemed like there was a screen put over my eyes, but I can't believe I held onto the camera. There's a big loop right there. I was watching one of Landon Austin's vlogs uh, a few days ago, and he did something like this, and he said he was going to try a little bit more extreme vlogging, which I think I might try to. And here I tried to show the picture from the ride, and the guy behind the counter yelled at me, which made me sad. So not all of us rode on every ride, uh, so Ingrid didn't want to go on that one because it was a little bit more intense, so she stayed back and watched our stuff, and she has my glasses there. And after the ride, our new friend Grace followed us down and she saw Ingrid and she watches Ingrid's videos as well. So she wanted to come and say hello. She really liked Ingrid's bracelets. And out of nowhere, Ingrid just decided to give her one of the bracelets that Ingrid had been given and decided to pass that on. And that just shows the amount of generosity and, and selflessness that Ingrid actually has. She also recognized Tanya and then they all just wanted to talk about leggings or, or jeggings or maybe even pixie pants. I, I don't know and it's one of those awkward moments where I'm just sitting there listening, not adding. And this is Grace's boyfriend who probably feels the same way as me in those situations. We decided to get some lunch after that and I was filming this because it's the probably happiest man I've ever seen eating a hamburger like mmm hamburger. Jim was very impressed by the size of the onion um, that he was eating. These, these rings were, were very large. Got a bucket of chicken for everybody and just split it. That's what friends do. So we looked at the map and everybody decided that they wanted to go on a water ride next because it was hot. So I'm showing you the horses on this carousel right now because look how terrified their faces are. Like who designed this? And with the pole going through their back, I think this could actually scare some kids if their imagination ran wild enough. 
I'm throwing this shot of Jim randomly in here because I just, I really like Jim and Tanya and Fleur and Mike, and I really wish that they didn't live so far away over in the UK because I like having them around. And the saddest moment of the day goes to when Ingrid found the squashed little baby bird, which kind of made everybody sad, actually. Except for Joey. Everybody got off of the water ride and they were just completely soaked. Mike and I decided to stay back, and when everybody came back, they were just uh, really wet. Um, yeah, Jim got a little bit on the side. Ingrid actually was, uh, she must have been sitting in the middle on the water rides because uh, she wasn't wet at all. Yeah, Tanya, I think, actually said that she got in the worst, like completely soaked. But Mike and I, bone dry, just sitting there hanging out. It was, it was fun. Next, we walked past a Dippin' Dots booth, which excited everybody, especially Ingrid. So we decided to share a banana split Dippin' Dots. And if you've never had these before, they're, they're really, really good. I like them. I really wanted Ingrid to go on a roller coaster with me, so we chose a moderate one. I think she was a little bit scared, but I told her that I'd hold her hand on the ride. And this one, I think, was called Ninja. And it ended up being just uh, a very rickety um, roller coaster in the end. Probably not the, the best one to take her on. But we've got Mike in the back, sitting by himself, and then Fleur and Joey sat up front. I was really proud of Ingrid for going on this roller coaster with me because some people just aren't roller coaster people. You know, I, I like the occasional roller coaster, but I can't do the whole day. Uh, crazy amount of roller coasters like some people that I go to these parks with. And even if the roller coaster was not the most comfortable ride, uh, we did it and then we celebrated afterwards and felt pretty good about it. So here we are just raising some roofs. I decided to take on the DeForce crew, Mike and Fleur, in this challenge. And I thought that I won. I, I really did. If you actually watch the video, I started before Mike, but said he ended up winning and he won Ingrid a panda. And this is the sixth panda that Ingrid owns now, uh, which was kind of funny. We're thinking about calling it Panda Six, Pandix. But I can tell you this much this kid is never coming down off of this sugar high. As Ingrid and I passed this man, we realized not only had he won his own Panda Six, but his panda was poking his head out of a bag too. And I realized that most people think that the bigger the prize, the better it is, but why would you ever want to win something this large at a theme park or a carousel and then have to carry that around all day? That would just be obnoxious, I, I feel like. But then we, then we saw something. This is, this is a panda that is larger than the one that I got for Ingrid um, a few months ago. Look how big that is. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love Joey, but he's starting to creep me out a little bit. And you see what I mean? This person is regretting their decision for winning a giant panda that they have to carry around the park for the rest of the day. Last time I was at Six Flags, I almost passed out on Goliath, so I decided not to go. And don't get me wrong, I love Ingrid, but she's starting to creep me out a little bit. Just kidding, I can never be creeped out by Ingrid. I decided to walk around with Pandix or Panda Six in between us, just squishing his head. He doesn't mind. It's really unfortunate because I think this was a conscious decision that somebody wanted to pound a Bud Light before heading into Six Flags. Jim had never had a root beer before in his life, so we told him to get one. He said he initially liked it, but then it started to taste like the doctor's, so he didn't finish it. After having an eventful day like this, it's always great to just go have a drink, eat some food with all of your friends, and relax. And it's become one of my favorite times on a day like today, is just the, the dinner portion afterwards. And also watching Joey eat a huge mound of broccoli has become one of my favorite pastimes. And days like today make me think about the mistakes I've made in the past, and the different paths I could have taken in my life, and honestly, I couldn't have made better choices. I'm surrounded by a community of friends that accepts me for who I am, who I choose to be. So days like today remind me how lucky I am to be right here with these people. Days like today remind me how much they mean to me and how a group of good friends is worth more than anything material. Days like today make me realize all my mistakes and hardships in the past led me here to one of the greatest places I've ever been. 
and I'm happy to share that with you. So thanks for watching and coming along on this journey with me. I'll see you guys soon.